and water and water 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 and water and water 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 and water and water 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 and water and Hello Terrarians, this is Mud from the Stardust Gaming Channel and welcome to another video. In today's video we're gonna head rock bottom. We'll be building a hell themed throne room because I always wanted to have my own hellish castle. It's Terraria, that is. So, let's jump right to it. Now that the landscaping is done, it is time to pick the building materials. Now the problem is, hell is already dim, and since I'm planning on using black and red as the main colors of the build, the walls that I need to choose has to be visible despite all of that. This is why I ended up picking ebonstone and sandstone brick walls as the main components because you can still see their textures despite them being painted in black and being dimmed by the underworld lightning.
And we are done. As you can see, I added two entrances to the build, one from each side using the same components I used in the throne room, which are the ebonstone brick walls, sandstone brick walls, stone slab walls, and actuated palladium columns. For the decoration, I used dungeon hanged skeletons, chains, angel statues painted black, laven fire blocks, and hell crates also painted black. I also placed some ruby gem spark walls across the corners of the build behind the ash blocks to create this red glow effect which fits quite well with the hellish theme of the build. And this is it for this video, thank you guys for watching. If you happen to like this video, please like, share it and click on the subscribe button. And see you in the next one. Bye bye! Why are you running?